Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come to thee. Do not turn thy countenance from me in the day I am afflicted. Incline thine ear to me in the day I call out to thee. Hear me speedily, for my days have vanished like smoke, my bones consumed like wood in a fire. I have been cut down like the grass, and my heart has become withered. I have forgotten to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones have clung to my flesh. I have become like a desert pelican, like an owl perched in the ruins. I kept watch and have now become like a sparrow alone on a housetop. My enemies reproached me all day long. Even those who once praised me kept swearing falsely against me. For I kept eating ashes like bread, kept mingling my drink with weeping. Because of thy countenance's furious wrath, for thou didst lift up, then throw me down. My days are a lengthening shadow. I have withered away like the grass. But thou, O Lord, shall forever endure. Thy memory is from generation to generation. Arising, thou shalt have compassion on Zion, for the time of, of mercy for her has come. The right moment has come. For thy servants took pleasure in her stones. They shall have compassion even for her dust. So the nations shall fear thy name, O Lord. All the kings of the earth thy glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He has regarded well all humble prayer. He has not despised their pleas. Let this prayer and psalm be written down for the generation to come, that the people yet to be created may give praise to the Lord. For he looked down from his high holy place. The Lord looked from heaven to earth to attend to the prisoners groaning, to set free the sons of the slain, to declare the Lord's name in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord, from his strength's path he said to him, Tell me the fewness of my days. Take me not away, O my God, in the midst of my days. Thy years are throughout all generations. In the beginning, O Lord, thou didst found the earth. The heavens are the works of thy hands. They will perish, but thou shalt endure. All things will wear out like a garment, and like a cloak thou shalt change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall never fail. Thy servants' sons forever shall dwell, their seed guided rightly forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all he has given, who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from corruption, who crowns thee with mercy and compassion, who satisfies thy desire with good things, and thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord perform, performs great works of mercy and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and, all, and his will to Israel's sons. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will never be fully enraged, nor will he keep his anger forever. He did not deal our sins back to us, nor give us what our evils deserved. As, for, as far as heaven extends over earth, so the Lord has made his mercy extended over those who fear him. As far as the east stands from the west, so far has he taken our sins from us. As a father has compassion for sons, so will the Lord have compassion upon those who fear him. For he, will, for he well knows our fashioning. He has remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourishes. Then the wind has passed over, and he shall be gone. He shall no longer know the place, but the Lord's mercy is for all eternity upon all those who fear him, and, the right, and his righteousness upon sons of sons. To such as shall keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments, the Lord prepared his throne in heaven. His kingship is supreme over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength to do his word, in hearing the sound of his words. Bless the Lord, all you as host, his ministers that obey his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, all in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Glory to the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how magnificently dost thou ex exist, clothed in thanksgiving and majesty, arrayed in light as with a garment, stretching out the heavens like a curtain. He covers his high hills with the waters, appointing the clouds for his staircase, ascending on the wings of the wind, making his angels his spirits, his ministers a flame of fire. He established earth on her shore foundations. She shall never give way unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his clothing. The waters shall stand upon the mountains. At thy rebuke they shall flee. At the crash of thy thunder they shall tremble with fear. The mountains rise up, the valleys sink down to, thy, to the place thou hast founded for them. Thou didst set a boundary never to be passed. The waters shall never again cover the earth, sending the springs into the valleys. He shall make the waters flow between the mountains. They shall give water to every beast. The wild asses shall quench their thirst. The birds of the heaven shall dwell by them. From amidst the rocks they shall sing forth. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works growing the grass for the cattle, raising green plants to serve man. He brings forth bread from the earth and wine to gladden man's heart, oil to make bright his face and bread to strengthen his heart. The trees of the plain shall be fed, the cedars of Lebanon that thou didst plant. In them shall be sparrows make, make nests, the herons home greatest among them. On the high hills are the deer, the cliffs are a refuge for the Hirax. He made the moon and to mark the seasons. The sun knows the time to set. Thou makest dark, and it is night, when all the forest beasts will prowl, the young lions roaring for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they will gather and lie down in their dens. Man will go out to his work and shall labor until evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom thou hast made them all. The earth is filled with thy creations. As is the great and spacious sea that teems with countless things, living things both small and great, there the ships ply their way. There is the Leviathan that thou madest to play there. All of them look to thee alone to give them food in due season. When thou givest, they shall gather in. When thou openest thy hands, everything shall be filled with goodness. But when thou turnest thy face away, they shall deep, be deeply troubled. When thou takest their breath away, they shall die back again to dust. Thou shalt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. May the Lord's glory endure forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He gazes on the earth and it trembles. He touches mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing psalms to my God for as long as I have breath. May my thoughts be pleasing to him and I shall be very glad in the Lord. May the sinners vanish from the earth. May the wicked wholly cease to be. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing psalms to him, recount all his wondrous works, be praised in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who are seeking the Lord. Seek the Lord to be strengthened, seek his countenance continually. Remember the wonders he has wrought, his marvels and the judgments of his mouth. 
O seed of Abraham, his servant, you sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He remembered his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. The word he spoke to Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac, the ordinance he gave to Jacob as Israel's everlasting covenant, saying, I shall give you Canaan as the land that you inherit. When they were very few in number and scattered as strangers in the land, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to the next, he allowed no man to wrong them, reproving even kings on their behalf. Never touch my anointed people. Never do my people, my prophets wrong. He called down famine on the land. He sheltered all their sustenance. He sent on a man before them, Joseph, sold into slavery. They shackled his feet with fetters. His soul passed into the iron until his prophetic word came true, the teaching of the Lord testing him with fire. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house, ruler over all his possessions, to instruct his princes in this name and to teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, Jacob sojourning in the land of Ham. He increased his people greatly, making them stronger than their enemies, whose hearts he turned to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. He set among them the words of his signs, his wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood, and he destroyed their fish. Their their land abounded with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and the dogfly came. Gnats swarmed within all their borders. He sent them hail for rain. Fire swept through all their land. He smote their vines and their fig trees. He broke every tree in their lands. He spoke, and there came locusts, swarms of locusts beyond number, and they devoured all their grasslands. They devoured every fruit of the land. And he smote the firstborn in their land, and all the first fruits of their labor. And he led them out with silver and gold, not one man of their tribes growing weak. Egypt rejoiced at their exodus, for fear of them had fallen upon them. He spread a cloud as a cover for them, a fire to shine at night for them. He asked, then the quails came. They asked, and then the quails came. He filled them with the heavenly bread. He split the rock, and the waters flowed. The rivers ran in the waterless places. For he remembered his holy word. He spoke to the servant Abraham. He brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with gladness, and he gave them the lands of the nations, and they inherited the labors of the peoples. They that might keep his statutes, that they might seek after his law. Glory to the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God.